Uh, Waco PD, Sheriff's Office, our Senator, uh, Brian Birdwell, and our uh, State Rep, Doc Anderson. Thank you all for being here also. I also want to uh, thank our media for being here. We appreciate you alls interest in this. This is a very, very important meeting today uh, about this very deadly drug that's out there on the street that is killing our kids. And so thank you all. Thank everybody for being here. And, Governor, thank you so much for call, uh, bringing this meeting to be. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Director. Thank you, Governor. Well, Sheriff, thank you, uh, Deputy Chief. What a tremendous law enforcement community here. Great partners, always leaning forward, trying to protect the people in the community. And it's great to work with you. And, uh, and thank you for your leadership in the TAG as well and your participation. Uh, certainly, uh, in my lifetime, the most significant, deadly, pernicious, illicit drug threat that I've ever seen, or that anybody's ever seen, and we've discussed it earlier, is fentanyl. And the reason for it, it's, it's highly potent, highly lethal. And in a combination of what the Mexican cartels have been doing, and that's, that's they've been taking it and lacing it with, with alleged counterfeit pills into press and pushing it into our streets and our communities and flooding it. And as a result, people that think that they're taking maybe an Adderall or Oxycontin, Oxycodone, or some other chemical or prescription drug is really not taking that prescription drug. What they're doing is taking a potential, you know, lethal dose of fentanyl. And fortunately, we've lost too many Texans already. And, Governor, you've taken a, a, a proactive approach, certainly in addressing the Mexican cartels, combating them in terms of being able to detect and interdict them at the border between the ports of entry, the, the, the criminals, and also the dope that floods into. But it's similarly, uh, in terms of the, the gangs through the Texas Anti Gang Center, being able to attack the retail distribution side of it, and now another key piece of that, and that's the education part in protecting our kids. And mm -hmm. thank you for your leadership on this issue. Sure. Thank you. Uh, also, I want to thank everybody for being here, Sheriff. Thank you, uh, as always, and, and thanks to everybody uh, who joined with us for a discussion here today. But most importantly, thank you all. I, I need to make clear to everybody here in the greater Waco area that fentanyl <coughs> is killing Texans. Last year, almost 1,700 Texans lost their lives uh, because of fentanyl. On average, that would be more than four people a day in Texas alone uh, losing their lives because of fentanyl. In the United States of America, the leading cause of death of people between the ages of 18 and 45 is not cancer, it's not COVID, it's not car wrecks, it's not guns. The leading cause of death of people between the ages of 18 and 45 in the United States of America is fentanyl. The DEA administrator said this. She said fentanyl is the single deadliest drug threat that our nation has ever encountered. And according to the CDC, during the one-year time period from February 2021 to February 2022, more than 75,000 Americans died from fentanyl-related overdoses. The way that it is made and gets here, the precursor elements typically come from China, and typically go to Mexico. In Mexico, uh, it is mixed up and laced onto what looks to be like pres prescription drugs. This I'm holding up right now is a deadly dose of fentanyl. As you train your cameras on it, you really can't see anything. At the very bottom of it, you may see something that looks like a grain of salt. And two milligrams of fentanyl is a deadly dose. This is a package within a package of pills that were pressed and layered into it is fentanyl. The fentanyl is on these pills right here. And pills like this are sold on the street in Texas every single day. All of this is even made worse when you see the new version of fentanyl. It's called rainbow fentanyl. It comes in uh, multicolors and is intended to attract young people, uh, teenagers, even younger than teenagers, to take this drug. And because such a small dose, just two milligrams of fentanyl is a deadly dose, a child or teenager or even adult will take just one pill and they'll die from it, not knowing that that one pill could kill them. All of this is a byproduct 
of Biden's open border policies. Over just the past year, more than 2 million people have come across the border illegally. When you have that high volume of people coming across the border, it also includes drug trafficking uh, and it actually makes it even easier for drug trafficking because the Border Patrol is occupied filling out all the paperwork for the people they apprehend coming across the border. That opens up the pathways for the drug cartels to be able to get fentanyl across the border into Texas and then across the United States of America. In this open border policy that is allowing the fentanyl into our country and our state is having these deadly consequences in Texas. Four Hayes School District teens lost their lives to fentanyl. A 13-year-old in Wichita Falls, Texas, lost his life to fentanyl. I talked to Virginia Krieger, whose daughter was tragically killed from fentanyl poisoning. Fentanyl is a clandestine killer that's brought into and caused by the Mexican drug cartels. Cartels are terrorists, and it's time that they be treated that way. Well, Texas is already taking action. One thing that we have done, Texas Department of Public Safety alone has seized enough fentanyl to kill every man, woman, and child in the entire United States of America. And then on top of that, I recently issued an executive order designating cartels as terrorists in Texas and urging DPS to take immediate action. What they are doing, they are working with local law enforcement as well as with federal law enforcement to identify gangs that support Mexican drug cartels and seize their assets and disrupt their cartel networks. I sent also a letter to President Biden as well as Vice President Harris demanding that they also classify Mexican drug cartels as terrorist organizations. That would trigger a already existing federal statute that would authorize the federal government to go seize all the assets of these drug cartels. There's nothing stopping Joe Biden from putting an end to drug cartel activity in the state of Texas and the United States. All he has to do is identify the Mexican drug cartels as terrorist organizations. And then on top of all that, I signed the law last session to increase criminal penalties for making or distributing fentanyl in Texas. And today I'm proposing new laws. One is to classify fentanyl as a poisoning as opposed to an overdose. A poisoning is a purposeful act where one person intends to poison another in a way that they could lose their life, and that's exactly what it is. And then related to that, what I want to do with this law is because it is a poisoning, I want to make it a law to, that makes it murder for someone to knowingly provide fentanyl-laced drugs that lead to somebody's death. And But the good news is that there is an, an immediate response antidote to someone who takes uh, fentanyl. They could be going through a seizure on the brink of losing their life. And if they can gain access to Narcan, that can save their life instantly. We've seen it with law enforcement officers who were exposed to fentanyl who uh, were losing their lives and they received Narcan and it rescued their lives. And so one thing I want to see is an expansion of the availability of Narcan across the state of Texas to make sure law enforcement officers have it, but also uh, maybe it could be placed in schools or other locations where there could be the possibility of fentanyl exposure. Bottom line, most important message I could deliver is one to parents across Texas, and that is they need to understand what is going on, and they need to have the tough conversations with their kids or grandkids about the easy availability of one deadly pill and how one pill can kill what otherwise would be an innocent life. So we remind all Texans to be responsible. Make sure that you're informing your family about how deadly this invisible drug is. With that, we'll take a few questions.